All right, we're at the Eastern Washington University uh, head coach David Evian and student athlete Jackson Atwood with us here today. Coach, first of all, uh, kind of uh, your thoughts getting ready for this uh, national tournament, uh, a whole season of games and uh, traveling all over the place, but it culminates here this weekend at the national tournament. Uh, your thoughts as you head into uh, this weekend's play. Right. So. Uh, this is our fourth year um, as a program, so it's been very exciting to uh, be able to continue our progression as a young program coming into year four and to come back here um, to my alma mater. Um, this year has been a pretty cool thing as well. Um, throughout the season, uh, we've had some, some highs and lows, as everybody does. Um, we added two freshmen uh, coming into the season, um, and then we actually uh, lost one of our guys uh, for this tournament because he's preparing to uh, get a spot for um, in Paris uh, for the Paralympics um, in this summer uh, for wheelchair racing. And so uh, he's been working on that for a while, so he wasn't able to make this trip because he's got qualifiers um, this weekend for that. Uh, but we're excited to be able to get our young guys uh, some more playing time, and uh, we've added some for next year. So this year, again, has been another year of uh, building blocks and slow progression, slow growth, but we're excited to have it culminate uh, this weekend. As you mentioned, uh, a newer program. Um, yep. I suppose just the strides you've seen in that future is what you're really looking forward to. Yeah, for sure. And like I said, like being able to bring everything, um, kind of bring everything to a head this, this weekend, I'm uh, pretty excited to see how we pr uh, perform. Uh, as a whole, and then really how we're able to lean on our captains like Jackson here, um, as well as the two freshmen that we brought in uh, this past season, uh, and see how they play, you know, kind of under the bright lights. It should be fun to watch. And Jackson, uh, as you mentioned, a team leader on your squad, and uh, again, kind of being the cornerstone to help build this program. Uh, what's been uh, some of the, the keys you think to the season for your, your success on and off the court in, in being a leader? Uh, well, it helped me a lot in the very beginning with Bob the one that's uh, absent. He and I, we were co-coaches, or uh, co-captains. Uh, co Captains, yeah. And so we uh, helped each other out, but once he had to leave and get ready for all the training, I had to like kind of bring it in a bit. And so it's been kind of a lot of, uh, a lot of just, not a lot of pressure, but it's been a lot of uh, communicating and a lot of great working together with the teammates, because it's not just me, it's everybody else. And so we hold each other accountable and we, uh, we just make it through, you know? Yeah, and also here at the national tournament, you're playing against the best teams in the country, and you played against these uh, other teams throughout the year. But uh, it's kind of exciting for you, as I'm sure as you as a player and, and your your fellow teammates, to kind of see where you stand here at the end of the tournament. And yeah, you might be missing a player, but uh, you're gonna go out there and play hard the, the entire weekend. Yeah, nothing that we haven't faced before. You know, it's our fourth year. We're just going at it. We're gonna keep going. We're not gonna give up. Uh, Jackson. Thank you. Um, I would ask you, Jackson, what would you say your favorite part uh, is about competing? Ooh, my favorite part about competing. Ooh, I, I don't know. I just I love being on the court. It's really great. Usually, with the low numbers that we have, I'm on the court a lot. And it's just kind of uh, I love playing like, the role that I bring to the team. Uh, I just love that aspect. And I love being able to just work with all my teammates, and especially with all the freshmen, teaching them bringing them in and keeping them up to pace. And they've been really great with uh, adapting to all of the collegiate, collegiate level competition. And Coach, uh, you mentioned a uh, player here at Southwest and uh, really involved in this program. Uh, yeah. It's got to be special to come back here and to show your student athletes where you played at and uh, to kind of show off where you went to school and uh, to be able to play it in the RA facility and the PE gym, both great facilities. But it's got to be exciting for you to kind of come home, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, this has been uh, a long time coming um, now. And like I said, I was just telling some of the guys, not a whole lot has changed, but there have been improvements as well. Like as I've seen just the overall vibes, you know, whether it's more, you know, uh, TV screens out showing you know, more announcements in different locations that I didn't remember us having uh, when I was going to school here. Um, again, the new floor in the PE looking nice. So good job, everybody at SMSU. Way to, way to you know, step it up there. Um, and then, yeah, just uh, to be honest, walking down memory lane and just kind of having everything kind of come back, come back to you and the time spent um, in all of the facilities here has been pretty nice. Um, 
but now I get to play kind of spoiler, hopefully, and we'll see, uh, we'll see how everything ends up at the end of the weekend. Rituals, ooh. Well, there's the whole. I I know one right yeah. off the rip. Well, I don't want to steal yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> he has a, he's a particular <laughs> type of snack. Yes, it is. Uh, imagine like just French bread, like a loaf of bread, yes. that I just love eating it. It's like it's like a craving or something like that. But it's like my pregame ritual. I always eat it for every just a couple of bites, you know. And then by the end, it's all gone. <laughs> well, coach. Yeah, thank you guys for having us. Yeah. Appreciate it.